Hi, I'm Lily Bourne, and I'm the inventor of the kangaroo cup. Today, I'm going to show you how plastic kangaroo cups are made by using injection molding. The kangaroo cup is made in two steps. The first step creates the main body of the cup out of hard plastic. The second step fills the handles with a softer plastic that makes gripping easier. The two-step process is referred to as dual-shot injection molding. Injection molding begins with something called a mold. These molds are made out of steel, and some of them are as big as refrigerators and can weigh several tons. The two halves of the mold are pressed together by robots. No, not, not those kinds of robots. These kind. Like I was saying, the two halves of the mold are pressed together, and then the hot liquid is injected through a hole called a gate. The plastic is injected with a lot of force behind it to make sure it fills the entire mold. Once the mold is filled, cold water is circulated through the mold by the robots, and the plastic cools down and the liquid becomes a solid. Then the robot removes the bottom half of the mold and replaces it with the next mold, which will finish the handles. We call this an overmold because it goes over the first molded piece. Once again, hot liquid plastic is shot at a high pressure, this time through gates on the handles of the cup. Water cools off the plastic, the overmold becomes solid, and the robots open up and spit out the cup. One design change we had to make to our cup was the change in the legs. Our original prototype had too much of an undercut, and that caused problems. An undercut makes it impossible for the robots to open and close the molds. There are many ways to build molds to allow undercuts, but they usually require more than two moving pieces and they are a lot more expensive. So there you have it, dual shot injection molding.